Run Graph Master Extension. We add a new graph type named Finance with 18 visual presets. Let's open the first preset and check the main settings. In this dialog, you can enter the graph name and set the resolution. Also, we add a resolution option for every graph type. You can close the Graph Master window. In a clear setup, the preset has a straight line. For example, let's import an image with a finance graph. Add this image to the project and create a new composition. Now, paint a new shape with the main lines. OK. Now we have a shape. Let's copy this shape into the main composition. It doesn't matter where the shape is located, the plugin will automatically add it to the graph. In the basic settings, just specify your shape. The graph will be created with animation, which you can change in the null spline animation object. Let's copy our image and make the final settings. In the example, the data is on the left. Let's fix this. Good. Now, in order for our new chart to display the correct numbers, you need to specify them in the main settings. Let's enter the range from our example. Also, you can change the number of digits in the main settings. The countback value can be changed as well. In our example, there is a letter K at the end of the numbers. Let's add it too. Just enter it in the add symbol and text layer. You can change the text parameters directly in the same composition. For the setup to work correctly, you need to specify the maximum and minimum values of the graph itself. Now our graph exactly matches the reference image. The more precisely you specify this data, the more correctly the graph will work. There is also a division into a positive and negative range in the graph. Change midline offset. OK, all the elements are there. Now let's set up the style. Graph Master has many settings to replicate almost any graph. You can easily turn on and off many prepared graph elements using a very intuitive UI. In our example, there is an unusual time range. Let's replicate it. In the composition, find the bottom text for edit layer and enter your data, separated by commas. The data is automatically distributed over the entire length of the graph.
you can enter any amount of any data. Now let's remove the background for the text and change the color of the text itself. The main parameters of the lines can also be adjusted as in the example. Let's add this thin dotted line of main value. Let's make the starting point black for better contrast. Great! Now we have a cool animated graph with a style similar to the reference. We can delete it. There is also a candlestick layer in the setup. Let's make 20 copies and see what happens. We will get a correct candlestick chart in the form of Japanese candlesticks, which you can also customize. Depending on how many copies you have made, the timing of the graph will be show. They will be animated correctly, just like Japanese candlesticks should be. Let's remove the candlestick for now and consider another cool feature. Another cool feature is the advanced marker system. Find the marker 1 layer. The general settings for markers are in a special section in global controls. Also, each marker has local settings, allowing you to highlight the necessary value. Each marker has its own unique display modes. Another cool feature is the ability to create a sectoral selection from a marker. Sectoral selections also have some global parameters. You can easily change the colors in the local settings. These selections have several display modes, horizontal, vertical, and area. The whole process is non-linear, change the markers as it suits you. The number of markers is unlimited. Just duplicate and set them up. The markers are already animated, and all you have to do is enable them at the right moment. You can apply your own unique properties to each marker. Combine markers, their locations, and modes to highlight important details.
Of course, you can resize the entire graph as you like. All changes will be proportional. You can also change the original shape, and it will automatically be applied to the graph field. Thanks for watching.